the heck is up you guys it's your boy ace aka animated heroes here back with another action figure review today we're going to be taking a look at none other than the sh figure arts one piece yamato and i know this is a figure that i am super duper late on but i just got it in the mail recently and i got this as well as some other things i'm trying to get to i promised you guys the reviews and now i'm here to deliver so anyway without wasting any time let's go ahead and dive right into this figure starting off with the sexy packaging So when you look at the size of this box in comparison to the other figures we've gotten in the line, such as Luffy and Zoro, you can see that this box is significantly taller, as it should be because Yamato is a much bigger character. Now, we all know One Piece characters scale differently with each other. They come in all different sizes, proportions, and everything else so it just makes sense but anyway for the boxes you can see it does kind of fit the theme that we've already gotten with luffy and zoro you do have the kind of turquoise ish background color for yamato which i love i would have also been fine with red just because of her pants but uh we do have the map theme along the side we've got the figure where we can see some of the accessories yamato right there yamato right there along this side right here we've got quite a few images of her looking really dope nothing much at the top image on the bottom nothing on this side except for this image right here and then of course on the back we got some poses we can get the figure into as well as some of the accessories then a bunch of stuff i cannot read because i imported this figure now anyway let's go ahead and get right into it busting this thing out so we can look at the details all right, so straight out of the package, I'm going to go ahead and say it, man. I am liking this thing. This is definitely the best looking One Piece figure we've gotten so far. Now, granted, I'm not the biggest fan of the Wano arc. It was okay. There's certain things I like, certain things I don't like. But I did skip around quite a bit, which I know you should never do with One Piece. Uh, but all of that to say this. There's not much that I know about this character other than the fact that she is the daughter of Kaido and she's some kind of dragon or something like that. And then I also know that she was supposed to join the crew, but then something happened to where she didn't join the crew. If anyone knows why, please comment below because I've been trying to figure that out. But anyway, back to the figure itself. This thing looks amazing, man. I... I really love the design of her anyway. I think some of the One Piece girls definitely have some really, really nice designs. I love Nico Robin, obviously. Nami is really dope. And then you have other characters like Vivi from long, long ago. And then ever so often you have those characters that are just kind of like... Eh. and that's on male and female side there's just some really weird looking characters in one piece but this is not one of them man she looks so damn good and the one piece line has had some misses but i don't think that this is going to be one of course we got to check the articulation and things like that and once we get started with that that's when we'll begin to figure out but first let's go ahead and take a closer look so we can examine some of the details further so I know I said it already, but this figure is very, very tall, man. And that's one of the main things about it that makes it so cool, in my opinion. Now, anyway, I do really love her head sculpt. It looks so nice. I thought that the horns were just one color red, but as you can see, it kind of fades from red to white, like it's going into her hair as it is. But that is pretty cool. I never noticed that detail in the series. The face looks so nice, man. They painted the eyes and everything beautifully. You can literally look at this and tell it's a One Piece character. Even if you had no idea who it was, just the way that this is painted screams modern day One Piece. Now, this ponytail she has going on here, I think this is probably the most beautiful part of the figure that's been painted because as you can see, you've got some green, some white, and then it slowly transitions into this blue down here giving me ocean vibes these colors are just appealing to my eyes like they're very very beautiful and i think that's why i like this figure so much it's just so much going on she's got the uh what i like to call the orochimaru bow tie um and as you can see it's purple but then you've got white in there as well which is a cool design and then it just kind of um it's actually on a swivel that's cool i didn't even 
didn't know that, but you can actually move these. Uh, that is dope. And then, of course, her sash is white, but she's got these blue designs on here that kind of look like waves, like waves of water. I'm thinking water with this figure. I don't know why. Her arms, very, very tiny, but accurate to the source material. And then, of course, here is her... Um, I don't think these are pants. I want to say it's just a dress. I don't know. I, I can't really tell. But since it's separate pieces, I'm pretty sure this is a dress. But either way, it looks really cool. Very, very soft plastic. And the way that it's designed, it's not really going to hinder the articulation at all. I was wondering how they were going to do this. Well, actually, a lot. It is going to hinder the articulation probably from the front the most. But I never really saw her fighting with her, like, legs out and meaning like any kind of kicking poses or anything so this should be fine and then all the way down to the feet man this this looks so good she's got the jiraiya like shoes on and one thing i do want to say is that she actually stands very very well so that's one thing i like and for the first time ever they didn't mess up on the feet whoever did this actually like put effort into the feet bro these, these look good some of the naruto figures look atrocious but this is like i'm not gonna spend forever on our feet somebody's enjoying this a little too much but um yeah man this thing turned out really damn good this is a beautiful looking figure man these colors are just capturing me it's cultivating like for real i love it a whole whole lot now anyway let's go ahead and put her back so we can see how tall she stands and when it comes to the height of this figure, to the top of her head, she's right at about seven inches to the top of her horn. She's about seven and a half. So again, very, very tall figure. And of course, it makes sense because it's accurate. She's huge. Like she's very freaking tall. And we saw that even in the flashbacks we had with her and Ace and then certain episodes where she's standing alongside Luffy and things like that. But of course, we'll do some size comparisons later to see how well she scales with the figures we've gotten from the One Piece line so far. Articulation wise, if you move the hair, she pretty much looks all the way up. So that's really good. She looks down just fine. But uh, if you try and hold it without adjusting the ponytail, the head is going to come off. Uh, mine pops off pretty easily. It actually came in the package off. I was thinking that it broke uh, or it was broke. Thankfully, it's not. But uh, yeah, just be wary of that. Even just kind of moving it around. Maybe I didn't have it plugged all the way on. There we go. Uh, she does get a little bit of tilt, a little bit of turn. Again, just be very careful with that neck. Then when it comes to the arms, no issues here whatsoever. None at all she does have a bicep swivel double jointed elbows that work super well she could totally hit the johnny bravo poses hands are on a i'm assuming a ball peg maybe a hinge i think the one piece figures are on hinges um it's kind of like a peg it's a peg and a hinge combination to an extent but the hands move around just fine you're not gonna have any issues articulating those at the diaphragm she works wonderful like not a whole lot but well enough to get her in some really dynamic poses combined with this hair being on a hinge and being able to be moved out of the way you can get her to crunch forward about that much you can get her to lean back all the way like that's not a problem at all then she does turn at the waist as well so that is really good these pieces right here hinge outward inward and uh, if you move them around, you can actually get them to somewhat go up and down, and then you can even rotate them inward and outward. So that is freaking dope. That upper body articulation is pretty much perfect. Now, when it comes to the lower body, she can do the splits pretty much all the way. And if you look, you can actually see the uh, swivel right there at the thigh. So that is present. Kicking forward. She can kick forward. That's not going to be a problem, but this is a hard plastic. Well, a softer hard plastic. It does move. So if you want to get her kicking forward, you can, but it's it's just not going to look right. And I hit my camera, I know. But um, the leg articulation, is it's going to look wonky with these pieces right here. Now, you can tuck them in, but I think this is supposed to be one piece, this dress. So if you move it outward too much, you're going to get that gapping in there. Anyway, she does kick all the way backwards as well. 
um i actually just popped the leg off and we're actually going to utilize this okay this is going to be weird but it's a cool way of showing it anyway she does bend at the knee no problem whatsoever her foot goes down about that much up about that much i'm really articulating a leg right now it's crazy she does have ankle rotation or pivot but you do have to kind of like maneuver this hinge right here around in order to do it and then toe hinge it's also there so the leg articulation is good but behind this piece right here it's just kind of weird to mess with and honestly posing it around it's easier to pop the leg off get it in the pose that you want and then fix it like it just it worked that much better for me now anyway let's back up this camera a little bit uh yeah articulation it's, it's kind of weird, man. It's one you really got to play with, especially when you're moving the feet around. Uh, you can get her to hold poses just fine, but sometimes you just, it's harder than it is with most figures just because of the way the figure is designed. And then one thing I did forget to show off actually was her butterfly joints. They work well enough for you to bring her arms all the way in, no problem. So those club swinging poses, not going to be a problem at all. Now, when it comes to accessories, you actually get quite a few with this figure. First off, she comes in the packaging with a neutral head sculpt and a pair of fist hands. She also comes with three different sets of hands for holding on to her weapons. Here is the first set right here, as you guys can see. The uh, fingers are not connected, so this is obviously for when she's holding like a thicker part of the weapon. She has another set, which has the fingers connected, but it's still like a big hole in between them. And then you do have another one with a smaller hole in between the fingers, so they're more connected. She does come with a pair of palming type hands or reaching type hands, whatever you want to use them for. And then she does come with a pair of hands for when she has her fingers clasped together as well, which I love this here. Now she does also come with two extra right hands, one for when she's just palming her weapon whenever it's beside her. And then she comes with a hand for just holding on to her waist. Now, when it comes to facial expression, she comes with quite a few as well. She comes with this like happy expression right here. This can be for when she's confident or just happy talking to Luffy or anyone in the crew really. She comes with this really excited face right here. You can tell something good just happened and she looks very cheerful. She comes with this teeth gritted looking to the side face, which I love this. This is probably my favorite one out of all of them. And then she does come with just like an angry yelling face as well. So all the expressions you need with this character. She does come with a faceplate for Luffy, which is Luffy's signature expression. And this was the ultimate selling tool for this figure. Tamashii Nations knew what they were doing. And I mean, you can't blame them. It's a business move. You got to buy this figure to get this expression for Luffy. And they are doing that a lot. Um, now, she does also come with her weapon, which looks really dope. I am in love with this club. Not a whole lot going on here. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, it just looks like a one simple sculpt with a bunch of dents that are carved into it as it should it's not a whole lot going on with the weapon in the anime now to get our hands on it all you do is pop off this bottom piece right here and you just slide them on it's very very simple and she does also come with this piece right here which i believe attaches to the stand that she comes with and it's for supporting the weapon whenever she's swinging it so great job with them adding this in here because it is going to be necessary technically this figure is not going to be able to pose around holding this weapon in like fighting poses without the utilization of the stand now getting into size comparisons here she is standing next to the straw hat pirates as the fourth in the line we have her standing next to the sh figure arts monkey d luffy the sh figure arts roronoa zoro and the sh figure arts sanji looking really good alongside all three of them again i think that they scaled this figure perfectly she might need to be a little bit bigger i don't know but in my eyes this is just wonderful here she is standing next to some more sh figure arts we have her standing next to the sh figure arts spy family lloyd forger casual version we also have her standing next to the sh figure arts jujutsu kaisen greatness satoru gojo from the hidden inventory arc which i just reviewed Go check that out if you haven't already. And then lastly, we have her standing next to an SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super CGI Goku.
Last but not least, for some random extras, here she is standing next to the Metacom toy or Mafex Batman Returns Superman, the Revel Tech My Hero Academia All Might. And I had to throw him in here. I was wondering if she was as tall as him. Crazy to see that they are almost the same height. And then last but not least, we have her standing next to the Marvel Legends Final Swing Suit Spider Man. So when it comes to my final thoughts on this figure here, I got to be honest with you guys. It is a pretty dang good figure. And honestly, it's one of the best in the One Piece line, especially given the fact that I only have one issue with it. And that's just the fact that the neck pops off of mine quite often whenever I'm maneuvering around the neck or just trying to articulate it. But if I just remember and I apply even a tiny bit of force whenever I'm articulating it, it doesn't even pop off. So it's almost like it's not a problem even though it is. Now, considering the fact that a lot of the other One Piece figures have been extremely problematic, I think this means we're going in the right direction. Now, who knows? Kaido's coming out at the end of February, and then we could have a ton of issues with that one. But for right now, it does seem like they're progressively getting better. Now, as I was saying, I feel like this is a figure you would only buy for one of two reasons. Either you absolutely love the character, which is wonderful. She's got a great design and she probably has a very interesting backstory, which might potentially make me like this figure a whole lot more if I do end up watching the entirety of the Wano arc. It's just right now, it's a little too long and I'm watching other anime at the time because solo leveling is catching my attention. But anyway, um, you either buy it because you like the character or you are fully invested in this line. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I I bought it because I'm invested in the line. I just feel like the more of these I have, the more I'm going to enjoy it. As you can see, I've got her posed alongside Luffy and Sanji, and this is something that I'm already planning for a shot I'm going to take later. Afterwards, I'll probably put this figure back in the box until I got some more ideas. It's just not one that I'm extremely excited about. Now, if I really love this character. This is one I would say could potentially at the year be at my top 10 because it's just there's really no issues with it other than the one that I mentioned. Now, granted, you can say you don't like the skirt piece. It's up to you. It would have been cool if we had gotten uh, fabric, but we already know this is Tamashi Nation. So something like that. Just it's not happening at the rate that we want it to happen. We're slowly but surely getting there with certain releases, but also it depends on who's working on that line and a ton of other factors that are taking place behind closed doors. And we're completely left out of that. And I only said that top 10 just to let you guys know that it's a good figure. It, it truly is a great figure. And if it's one you're thinking about getting, I do recommend picking it up. I don't know what the price point for it is. I think she's probably roughly 60, 70 bucks. I don't know. I had this combined with some other stuff, so I don't know roughly what I paid. Uh, but um, yeah, anyway, definitely an enjoyable figure. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, bye.